I'm always able to cut my weakest position. So if I have 13 positions, and let's say IBM, Philip Morris, uh, ESD, Kingdom Morgan Imaging Partners, Goldman Sachs, Google, Apple, I look at like, um, like say Win. Win's down four dollars, and the chart doesn't look so good. And you, like you're saying, you did a spread or a position on it, and you're, it's kind of like you know not really good. Did you buy Win at 35, 37? We were discussing it. Remember? About at 70. You remember seven. we were talking, why don't you do with Win? I was selling last week. So you sell, to. you sell your weakest position, turn it into cash. Always cut your weakest, even if it's something you wanted to hold a long time. Just cut it. Be a trader in that sense. Turn it into cash. The positions that are making tremendous money, you know, let's say you can make a lot of money with Citibank, Bank of America, fine. I can make a lot of money with uh, Apple and Tesla. I can make a lot of money on uh, Herbalife and Google. So those are just, I don't cut those, but the ones that are giving me problems that I'm looking at, how do I fix it? How do I fix it? Cut it, sell it. Okay, now, um, when you lose the money, uh, you got to start fresh, do small trades. They say trade smaller. Do you know what they mean by trade smaller? Uh, let me ask you one thing again. When you say that's partly true, not fully true, the moment you cut, right, it can spring back. Because you know that the nature of the stock is... It might spring back. It's it, it moving so much, right? Now, either you have a value... I give you an example. I have a GE 